Hello, hi, uh, this is Lorenzo. I'm a tutor at Thames Music. I teach bass and guitar, and this is a lesson about reading chord diagrams. Okay, uh, let's have a look at our chord diagram and try to understand uh, how to read it. So at the top, we have the nut, which is uh, this piece of plastic, which uh, keeps the string steady. The horizontal lines, as you can see in the picture, they are the frets, which are these plastic bits here. Okay, just to remind you what the fret does, the fret, when we press a string just before a fret, it makes the string shorter or longer, changing the pitch. Um, in our chord diagram, we will be told where to press uh, and which string to press as well. But going back to the chord diagram, we got the frets, one, two, three, and then we got um, the vertical lines, which are the strings. Now notice that in the chord diagram, it's like a mirror. So string number one is this, uh, up to string number six, which is this. Actually, uh, to be more precise, I should say down to string number six, because um, we should think about this thing in, uh, in pitch. So string number one is the highest in pitch, string number six is the lowest. And in the chord diagram, they are representing like that. The last thing you need to see is the dot. Uh, on your chord diagrams, each time we do a chord, which will be, for example, D, G, F, um, whichever chord we do, we will see some black dots. Uh, the black dot will be your finger and the chord diagrams which will tell you which finger you will be using and which fret you will be pressing. So let's have a quick recap on what we've done today. So the chord diagram will tell you which fingers you will have to use to press the frets, which frets you will have to press and also on which string. Also the chord diagram will tell you how many strings to play and we will see that more in details when we um, when we look at the chords in details. So to recap, this is the nut. These are the frets, which are the plastic lines, vertical lines, and these are your strings. Hello, hi, uh, this is Lorenzo, my tutor at Thames Music. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna learn how to play the chord D and we're gonna play um, a couple of exercises to get used to the chord. So let's have a look at our chord diagram. Um, as you can see at the bottom, uh, you have numbers. Those numbers indicate the fingers you will be using. In our case, you've got finger number one, three, and two in order. So we will be using only three fingers. Uh, let's go through the process. First, let's identify the fingers. We're gonna start with finger number one. Now we need to find out on which fret we will be placing our finger. So it's gonna be on fret one, two. So it's gonna be somewhere on one of the strings. On fret number two so one two we don't know the string yet and in order to do that we need to count the string so if we look at the chord diagram one two three if we look at our guitar one two three great so we press the string with the top part of our finger which is this one and we press a little bit before the fret. Not uh, in the middle, just a tiny bit before the fret. And we got our finger down, okay? Now let's have a look at the second finger. Um, let's identify on which fret our second finger is gonna be. One, two, so it is going to be on the second fret. Now let's have a look at on which string um, our finger is going to be. 
So one on the first string. So again, second fret, first string, and then we place it down. And we got our two fingers. Now let's go with the last finger, which is the third, and let's go through the process again. So let's identify the fret, one, two, three. And now let's identify the string, one, two. Perfect. Let's place it down. And this is our um, chord. Now we need to know, uh, there's another bit of information on um, the chord diagram that we need to look for, which is how many strings we will be strumming. If you look at the chord diagram, there are two X. That means you will not be strumming those two strings. So if you've got two X, you will be strumming only four strings. So you've got six strings on the guitar minus the two you won't be strumming. So you will be strumming four strings. And then you got your chord D. Let's have a look at the notation. This is how we notate the downstroke, which we perform like this. Downstroke means we strum the strings downwards. And this is how we notate the upstroke, which we perform in this way. And it means we strum the strings upward. Let's have a look at the notation. We have the repeat marks, which means we will be repeating these four bars. The repeat sign means you will be repeating twice, uh, whichever bar is within the two signs. Uh, I want you to keep looping the four bars until the end of the music for practicing purposes. Then we can see the duration of our strum, which is two tied whole notes or semi briefs. Uh, each semi brief is long four beats because they tied, they're going to be long eight beats. And then you can see our strumming notation. Uh, it is a downstroke, which means that we will be playing these chords uh, by strumming the guitar downwards. Now get ready to play. I will be counting four beats before you start. So the counting will be one, two, three, four. And I will be playing the first part of the exercise with you to remind you what you have to play. <laughs> 